Hello guys, welcome to Veritas and today we'll be discussing about African sport, in particular African football. Yes, African football. Confederation of African Football, or as it is known as CAF. It was founded on the 8th of February 1957. It was founded in Khartoum, Sudan. It is a sports organization and the headquarters are located in Egypt. It has 54 members and it uses three official languages which is English, French and Arabic. Its president is currently Patrice Mosepe. Its parent organization is FIFA which is the world governing body for football. It has five subsidiaries, UNAF in the north, WAFU in the west, UNIFAC in the central, SECAFA in the east, and COSAFA in the south. CAF is the administrative body that controls football in Africa. It represents national football associations of Africa and runs continental, national, and club competitions and it also controls the prize money regulations and the media rights to CAF is the biggest of the six continental confederations of Africa and also of FIFA since the expansion of the number of teams at the World Cup finals to 32 in 1998 it has been allocated five places and an addition of the sixth because of the 2010 tournament, which includes hosts. CAF was established on the 8th of February 1957 at the Grand Hotel in Khartoum, Sudan, by the National Football Associations of Egypt, Ethiopia, South Africa, and Sudan. Following formal discussions between Egypt, Somali, South Africa, and Sudanese football associations earlier on the 7th June in 1956 at the Avenida Hotel in Lisbon, Portugal. Its first headquarters was situated in Khartoum for some months until a fire outbreak in the offices of the Sudanese football association. The organization then moved near Cairo, Egypt. Yusuf Mohammed was the first Secretary General and Abdel Aziz Abdallah Salem, the President. Since 6 October 2002, the administrative center has been located in Cairo, Egypt. CAF currently has 54 full members, while Zanzibar and the Reunion are associate members. Current CAF President is Patrice Mosepe from South Africa, who was elected on the 12th of March 2021. First vice is Augustine Senghor from Senegal. The second vice is Ahmed Yaya from Mauritania. And the third vice is Waberi Soleiman from Djibouti. The current CAF Secretary General is the Swiss Congolese Veron Mosengo Omba since the 13th of March 2021. The CAF's national anthem. On the 18th September 2007, CAF launched a competition for all African composers to create its anthem. The CAF anthem is a musical composition without lyrics which reflects culture, patrimony, and African music. We have also CAF competitions, which include the Africa Cup of Nations, which is very famous. We have the Africa Nations Championship. We also have the Africa Under-23 Cup of Nations, Africa Under-20 Cup of Nations, Africa Under-17 Cup of Nations, Africa Women's Cup of Nations, Africa Under-20 Women's World Cup Qualification, African Under-17 Cup of Nations for Women, Africa Futsal Cup of Nations, Africa Youth Olympic Futsal Qualifying Tournament, 
Africa Beach Soccer Cup of Nations. We also have the club, uh, the tournaments for the club, which includes CAF Champion League, CAF Confederation Cup, CAF Super Cup, CAF Women's Champion League. We also have different regional cups with Sekafa Cup, the Wafu Nations Cup, the Amilka Cabral Cup, the Kosafa Cup, the Semak Cup, Unifac Cup, and the UNAF Under-23 Tournament. Sponsors October 2004, MTN contracted a deal for four years to sponsor major African football competitions. In July 2009, Orange signed an eight-year deal to sponsor African football. In July 2016, Total secured an eight-year sponsorship deal. CAF's current main sponsors are One Xbet, Total, and Orange. We have facts. These are some of the facts in African football. In 1934, Egypt was the first African team to qualify for the World Cup. In 1970, Morocco was the first African team to draw a match in the World Cup. In 1978, Tunisia was the first African team to win a match in the World Cup. In 1986, Algeria was the first African team to qualify in two consecutive World Cups. In 1986, Morocco was the first African team to reach knockout stages, the round of 16. In 1990, Cameroon was the first African team to reach the quarterfinals. In 2002, Senegal was the first African team to reach the knockout stages of the quarter finals. Further on the World Cup debut. In 2010, South Africa was the first African country and team to host the World Cup. We have different types of awards in, uh, in African football, in the African scene in Africa. We have the CAF Awards, we have the Africa Footballer of the Year, we have the CAF clubs of the 20th century and, and, and so on. And the famous football, football award ceremonies in various countries. Thank you very much for watching Veritas. Thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you very much for liking. Continue supporting this channel so that you may be able to get insight about Africa first hand. Thank you very much. Please remember to share. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you very much.